that they've made tremendous improvement. Is there anything a guy like a Clinton Belaski or a Rod Rivera, you know, having some success today, can, can do for their sure, their team? Sure, yeah, that, that you know, there, there are, there's always one or two guys that emerge in the spring game. You know, I thought Tyler Lyon had a good day. I thought he did a lot of good things, and and, uh, and so you know, I think. Some guys don't practice as well as other guys and, 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 you know, tend to play pretty well when they get in game situations. And that always makes you as a coach go back and reevaluate some things. But uh, but I thought it was a good, solid effort all, all across the board today. Kind of a feel-good thing for them? Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. I mean, those guys, they work hard, you know, day in and day out. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see them have success when they get their opportunity. Uh, a couple guys surprised you. I mean, obviously you're trying to hold a bunch of starters, but a couple guys maybe that were off the radar that yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I thought uh, Dale Sean Dean had a really good spring. You know, he's a guy that was uh, a little bit inconsistent last year, and, and we, you know, made a position change, moved him from H to Z, which is a more natural position for him. Uh, and I thought he was really improved. Uh, you know, I thought our young offensive line as, as a group, I thought really improved uh, probably as much as anybody else. Um, you know, those guys are just getting more confident and, and learning the scheme better, and, uh, and I thought those guys really did a good job of, of uh, you know, starting to gel. So, uh, you know, to me, um, those are two, two groups that stand out. What about the big names? Like uh, Mikey T, uh, Nick, Lily, they all kind of make big plays, and uh, Rob as well. Yeah, that's what we expect. I mean, that's, that's what those guys have to do. You know, they've got to be able to make plays and, and when we need them to. And that's what I liked, what I saw today. You know, I feel like those guys all made big plays in critical situations. And, you know, the last scrimmage we had, De La Sean and, and uh, Terrell Reese both had over 100 yards. And, and so they showed up as well. Didn't show up as much today, but showed up a lot last week in the other scrimmage. And, and felt like, you know, those guys all took turns making plays. And that's when your offense gets pretty good when you have a lot of options. And, and uh, you know, we're still working on some consistency issues from time to time with, with uh, young players, but that's what happens. But we're, we're starting to get it cleaned up. Did uh, the offense take the kind of positive step or a, a big step, I guess, over, these la over this last spring? Yeah, I think so. I think it's all about, you know, offensive football is about rhythm and timing and, and uh, confidence, really. And I feel like uh, once we got into a rhythm during the spring, our timing got squared away. You know, I thought we became a more confident offense, and guys started making making plays, and that's what this whole thing's all about is, is you know, creating matchups and, and getting guys in situations where they can, they can make plays. What are a couple of the most important things that have to happen between now and opening day? Just, uh, you know, we've, we've got to get a lot of the details ironed out, which we're, we've, we've come a long way. Uh, there's still some little things, you know, that we've got to – timing between the quarterback and, and receivers on certain things we've uh you know we've got to just work on some routine things like uh you know our, our snaps with our, our second and third center have got to improve uh you know just little mundane details like that but uh but i think you know i think we're headed there and, and uh you know the thing that really has to happen too i think for this football team is critical is we have to have some some leaders emerge and uh, we've had some guys that have made progress toward that end uh this spring that i think uh you know now uh, being able to, to continue to throw seven on seven and be in the weight room and take care of the business, you know, on and off the field, um, I think that's going to be important for us uh, as a football team and as a program uh, between now and August. Yeah, you know, we've got we're going to have three three options uh, that are going to be three new additions in the spring and in, in the fall rather. Um, you know, getting a couple of guys healthy and then uh, a junior college player that's coming in. Uh, you know, I thought uh, I thought Trethway really had a pretty good spring. Uh, I think we were happy with what what he's done and. And uh, all that competition does is just make your football team better. So it's going to be a, a lot of competition for that tackle spot, and, and uh, that's going to enable us to move some guys around possibly and create more competition at the guard and center spot as well. And uh, that's what we're trying to do at receiver and running back and, and uh, at quarterback for that matter, and just create competition and, and uh, you know, have your players push each other and everybody improves when that happens. Overall, how would you assess this unit's comfort level with the offense? Oh, I think good. You know, I think that's the, the, the thing that we've probably done as much as anything else is just, is just become more comfortable, and I think they see, you know, how it works, you know. And, and uh, I think sometimes they expect uh, kind of magic plays almost, and, and they've got to realize it's not really magic plays. It's just, it's just guys making routine plays.